In this table, we collected the lessons and gaps on the tools, and initially we understood tools as the really the in, in its narrow sense as the technical software issues or uh, uh, tools we, we used. And we started off with listing the most important ones we used commonly across the four sites, being SPSS for data entry and initial statistics, CS Pro is something new which has been introduced for data entry for next steps, Google Earth to uh, illustrate the spatial distribution and GPS to collect GPS uh, GIS information. And the, the, the lessons we learned, especially with SPSS, was that it was comparatively efficient data management compared to what we, what other people have been using so far, like Excel, because it forced people into a strict uh, format, but that more training would be needed, uh, especially in the interactive data analysis and sharing of data analysis steps. Also, licenses could be a problem. However, it was felt that data entry and queries were more difficult than it would be with using other tools. CS Pro in comparison with even the, the limited use we, people have had to that it is definitely easier for data entry, that's what it is made for, but to have a better understanding, more experience would be needed. Would be needed. And Google Earth, the, the, the sharing of site location info was very attractive, that we could easily see where the other groups were working, but more training, especially on the job, would be used. And the, there are more opportunities of Google Earth than just seeing specific points. Um, but these points have been fairly consistently collected through GPS, and but it um, and the connection of the GPS information to other applications was something new and something useful. But it was not yet clear if all regions were doing it in the same way, and it was not also clear for what were we actually going to doing this. How are we going to use this information? just putting it into maps or having it, using it in more quantitative analysis. We also listed a few tools which the, the, the visitors to this table thought would offer potential for, for more analysis. Uh, R as a license-free, very flexible uh, statistics package, data for uh, specialized econometric analysis, RGIS for better spatial analysis, access for more efficient data management and sharing, and SAS, uh, well, as an alternative to SPSS as a large statistics package. However, we also have visitors of the group who thought that this understanding of what tools is about is too narrow. Oh no, sorry, one, one other issue. We did, we did have overall issues on tools that training was an issue over all of these, and it led to the suggestion that we. With all of these tools, we do have specialists who have a far greater understanding, and it would help the training if the, if the members could be linked to these champions to exchange knowledge and to give tips so that the, the learning is, is not made more efficient. And the, the big issue of data management across sites, especially as more data is gathered, gather different types of data and different people are involved in it. That is really something which should be discussed and solved. But coming to other tools, apart from the software issues, we thought that the, the questionnaires and the models, which at some stage had been thought to be included in the process table, had not been covered properly in their technical details. So we did a bit on that. The village survey, the lesson was it was too long, too quantitative, placed high demands on the numerator, and that especially some of the nested tables were, were very difficult. But there were solutions, or which are linked around the gaps, that more training at a village level, because most people are more familiar with household level data collection, and that the the formulation of these qualitative questions could have been improved to make it more useful. Village census was pretty straightforward, everybody was pretty happy. The way the data was collected varied a little bit over sites, but was partly informal, partly for formal collaborators. Household survey, we don't have very many lessons at the moment, but we do see gaps that there's more on markets, especially on the type of markets involved, and also more on preferences. The, finally, on, on models and modeling, it was felt that more interaction with the modelers would be useful to know more what they are about and not only small snippets. And the, uh, the final issue was that how would the tip options, the 
technology, traditional anthropology options coming out of the whole study, how would they be defined? That is totally unclear. Okay.